Hi, and welcome to my basic formation guide for Amazing Cultivation Simulator. I'm Icon, and this video will guide you through the basic understanding of formations in the game. I will build a fresh formation with you together to demonstrate you how it works. I will also talk about what I've already learned about formations. At this point, my knowledge about the topic is by no means complete, but I've learned enough to set up simple and effective formations and enough to tell you how the game works for starters. So we will be talking about the prerequisites first. To learn formations, you will need to have discovered the ruins of Tayi and you will need to go to Mount Copper Tomb in a follow-up event and enter the map to discover the books necessary to learn formations. Once you have them at home, you need to put them into your library and study them. That's these two books, the formation diagrams of for guiders and the Thais intro to formation. Once that's been done, you have access to the formation system. So at first it really looks a little bit uh, confusing and it is not at all confusing actually once you have understood what to do. So let's create a new formation. Now we are at the formation grid. The first thing you need to understand is what actually formations are and what they're used for. So every formation is based around one cultivator who will be the center of the thing called the pillar. And the pillar is the first thing you will decide. And in that department, we use this cultivator here. And now we will decide, click in here and decide which kind of pillar piece we will use. The whole formation system consists out of lots of different parts that can be put puzzled together as you see fit. So every of these parts, as you see here, has connectors. These are red. The game calls them mysteries. As you see here, every mystery has a different symbol and matching symbols mean a positive connection. So to check it out here, these are very basic uh, pillars. And if you put them down, you could connect the cultivators like that, but the bonuses would be quite neglectable. So the green ones, though, they got the stats which are actually interesting for us. But before we go building a formation, I want to talk about the base stats here a little bit more. So a formation has a certain stability. And when the formation gets attacked, the stability drops. And once the stability is gone, the formation is broken. The main idea of a formation is that the pillar is being strengthened by other cultivators which give them power. So basically the whole formation's goal is to amplify the power of the most strong of the strongest cultivator in your sect. So for example we are going to use a concentrated sword aura because my cultivator here in this department is a Grand Chariot Law user and that's a metal law which features a lot of artifact power. So as we see here there are three identical symbols and every time when we connect that symbol successfully the artifact mastery will be increased by 30 percent that means every person connected to this here will be boosting the artifact power of the pillar so we see here these symbols are different everywhere and if we put down the sword symbol it automatically connects to the uh, mystery here so it turns green, and now you see it checked green that we increase our artifact mastery by 30%. Great. So let's put down more sword marks here, and that's that. Now you see we, re we have 30% bonus on every department, and you see on the other side of the screen, though, that you would be able to, if you would be able to connect a fourth of these symbols into the whole formation, we would even unlock the mind of the sword bonus. So as you see here, we got several different pieces to, for the puzzle. And if we would, let's say, go for this one here, let's go for relativity. Wait a sec, let's uh, here. This opens up, sorry, let's clicked here, sword. This opens up another connector. So now we need to check if we're able to put another relativity here and yet another sword and voila 
this formation would be now providing even an extra artifact mastery of plus 10. Things to keep in mind here. I have talked about stability, but I wanted to wait with these other stats before until we got the formation. So you see here, there's a size limit. We are exceeding that by two points. The for maximum formation size increases with the amount of formation manuals your sect owns. Right now, we only have a formation maximum size of four, and is it decreases the stability if you go past your limit. So right now, we might be featuring more attack power in that scenario, but our formation is weaker due to that. At this point, until we are stronger, it would be smarter to make it smaller, but more of that in a second. The formation load is kind of like the same thing. It's um, determined by the complexity of the formation. So the further the auxiliaries move away from the pillar, the higher the load will grow. I have yet to discover if the load of a formation gets increased by more manuals or not. I'm sadly not there yet myself. I'd be appreciating if somebody could put it down into the comments how to increase formation loads, because sadly, I haven't understood that yet myself. But I think that's uh, only a minor thing. So when we now reduce the formation to this point, we see the load is okay, the size is okay, but it is an incomplete formation. That's because we have one connector open. There is, it's not allowed to have a mystery not connected if you want the formation to work. So if we put it like that, it works perfect. So now we're going to save it and we're going to save the plan as Tutoria. Okay, I can't. Letter limits. And after that's been done, we're going into the config screen. So here you get to decide three templates. Every formation can have three different configurations. You can assign three different constellations here, basically. So here we click at the pillar, select Wen Feng one more time, and you see here, she's the center now. And now we select our other cultivators, much like that. And here we go. So as you see here, the elements are actually also influencing the whole thing. And we, we get a readout here about the uh, bonuses this uh, whole thing gives us. And the thing is, ideally, if you want to put it to the max, you would put your formation into a uh, within, into an elemental benefiting system like uh, metal is being best influenced by earth power so this formation would be probably the strongest if used with earth cultivators but that's way beyond basic knowledge if you have did that you just save it and let's uh, call that configuration when thing and now we can just uh, go click that for uh, that cultivator and now we have that unlocked now you can click form and you see here what happens the cultivators are connecting you see a readout about the formation stability and its bonuses and once you're done you can put, click form formation and now let's pause it auto save for the win and now we can we see here there's the formation stability and there's the chi of the other people so right now they're basically most their their basic job is to feed the chi into wen feng and boost her stats you can do different moves with that so um, these are basically group skills and of course you can disband the formation this is all you need to know to make things work and uh, as a matter of fact it does increase your people's power by a lot because you um, you might have noticed that it was a 176 percent bonus or just 76 percent uh, bonus on artifact power but whatever might be the case if we check out her battle power a formation amplifies that by a lot and since the chi of the uh, neighbors is being used as well it's also making the fighter of your sect a lot tankier. 
Keep in mind though that uh, as far as I know, there's a certain little cooldown on that. I haven't understood yet how long or whatever that is, but yeah. That's all you need to know to have a basic understanding about formations. There are, of course, a lot of different pillars to use and a lot of different things you can go for. You see here there are different stats you can boost. You should always pick the things which are beneficial to your um, to your sect and to your uh, to the stats of your cultivators. Oh well, it doesn't work. Let go to save it I want it to be here so here I wanted to go back to the uh, pillars so selecting your pillar is basically the most crucial thing see here you can give a multitude of bonuses you can aim straightly for stability for protection for spell power if you have a mighty spell caster as your centerpiece of your sect there are a lot of different options you can acquire more formation books during the game but that's something which doesn't uh, need to be covered here. So I hope that was helpful for you and I hope you have understood a, bit, a little bit more about the formation system and please play with it, have fun with it. It's not that complicated as it looks on the first glance. So feel free to drop me a comment down below if you felt like I had some really, really important point that has to be added into feel free to. This is not a competition. I'd be the most happy man if we can accumulate all the basic knowledge about formations. And apart from that, if you have still questions, ask away and leave a like on that video if you liked it. And check out my channel as well. Leave a subscription if you want to support me. I'd be deeply appreciating that. Whatever might be the case, I hope you enjoy your next gameplay of ACS and see you soon. Bye bye.